Hello, I'm AJ of Everything AJ's, and today I've got a great project. I have four fun designs of these glass terrariums, and I'm going to be doing my beaded sun catcher design with these here. So what I wanted to do is just kind of show you another creative way that you could put the sun catchers together, and it doesn't always have to be a sun catcher crystal at the end of that line. So here I have four. There's two two different sized birds. I have a little bird and then I have the big bird and the heart. But we will go through the process of how I'm going to be tying these together and completing the design that I lay out. Uh, first of all, I will let you know that these are the typical beads that I do use on every design. So the very first thing that I just want to make sure that you understand that I do is lay out those components because they will be the same thing on all four to where the design I make is going to be four different designs. And it would make sense to you visually, I figured if you saw, these are the same pieces. This is a component she uses for all of them. However, the design on all four are different. Here we go, I'm gonna start picking everything out and laying it out here. And we'll see how this final process goes together. So I have all of the four designs laid out here and now I'm going to be tying the fishing line onto the little loops of each one of these glass pieces. So here's my fishing line. It's really going to be kind of difficult to see but I'm going to be doing the same process of knot that I do for all of my sun catchers. It's a surgeon's knot. And when I do the tying on glass, I make sure that I don't put pressure on the actual unit itself. I just make sure all the pressure is here within the fishing line. I think these shapes are really fun. It's a different way to get that sun catcher uh, beaded design into a different element. I've done a couple videos where I've used different glass pieces and I just wanted to incorporate a couple of other fun ones that I have used as well. And plus it's springtime, so I figured it'd be nice to get a couple of these out in my local shops that I have things for sale at. There we go. So as you can see, all the pressure was within that fishing line. I never pulled on that to, to get this knot tight. I just make sure and pull on the fishing line itself. And there we have the sealed piece. The knot is all on there and the cap will sit right on top of that loop there and kind of hide it anyways. All right, let's get this first one beaded up. I think I wanna do this one here. There we have it. So see, this is the fluted bead. It's an acrylic fluted bead, and it has just enough of an opening there to kind of snug that loop right up into it. So it looks really good as a hanging product. And these are the type of things where you could put a little bit of water in it and have a live plant where you just put the pick 
tip in it and it has like a single flower or two fairly smaller size that would look really cute as well some people will also put an air plant inside of that hole the tricky part about the air plant is the size the size of the air plant and how it would fit inside of there versus you don't want it to fall into it because you will not get it back out <laughs> and now what i'll do is put the lobster claw piece on the tip and that's this piece here this here is a lobster claw with the curled tip and this is the lobster claw with the round on the top so it's completely like it, so if you have something a little bit heavier i guess is what i'm trying to say those are probably better than this because this can become uncoiled to where this is solid and you would have to break it in order to have that come off. So I'm gonna use these pieces. One, two, three, four. Now, it's the same process. You're still gonna do the surgeon's knot into the, the claw area right here. And I still use these pliers to curl that knot and get it into there as far as possible. We want the beading design to be fairly tight. We don't want it to be loose because then the charm piece or anything that I hang off of it could make that bead pattern not look so attractive. We want everything to be cohesive, hang straight, no sagging in the beading, that kind of thing. Here we go. So I've got the first knot in there. You see there's not a lot of wiggle room so that's perfect and that's why using that tool is so handy because it really just gets your knot right down into there Kind of kick the knot off to the side of it and now I'm going to cut and burn the tip. And now I will just pinch that lobster claw closed like that. And now you see that there's a whole ring on the top. It's a solid loop. And when I attach my ringlet here, this is a very sturdy connection. For something that's a little bit more weighted, I really like that. Looks good. And there we have our first one. Now I will work on the rest of these. I will fast forward the process. It's gonna be the same tying process on each one of these and I'll show you what all four of them look like when we are all done.